Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials. Today we're just going to do a little simple, well I hope it's simple, uh, video on how to tax your car online. Um, so what should happen is you should receive a letter in the post saying your car tax is due. You'll probably get it about three weeks before it's due. and It's normally due at the end of a month. Um, and then it will say how you can do it and there are a number of ways to do it this one is how we're going to do it online it does actually tell you on the letter the address to find but i'm going to just see if we can find it by going on to google um as if you've watched previous videos um of mine then you will know that i tend to use white on black because i don't see very well so yours might look a little bit different um but anyway here we go so i'm gonna go text my car and what we're looking for there's online we're looking for a dot gov website it's definitely got to be a dot gov and that is probably www that's the one so no i don't want to calculate it online car info tax your vehicle dot gov yep so that's it you probably could end up doing finding other websites and getting some spurious one where you end up paying something so be careful i haven't seen that but uh, make sure it's www.gov.uk there you go i think that's probably going to be it we'll accept the cookies all right tax your vehicle so what we're going to do here very recently okay reminder that's all fine. So you just basically are saying you should have your letter come through with your code, I think. So start now. Do you have a V11 reminder? That's the letter that's come through. So yes, we do. And continue. And what's this say? Taxing a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, 16 digit right so this is the 16 digit reference that you have on your letter which unfortunately for me it doesn't help because it's very pale color on white writing so i'm going to get my son to read it out to me now um it's a one-time code so it's not um not a security issue at all so um yeah okay what's the code one two oh seven three six one three nine oh five six Two seven six nine. Okay, so we've typed in the number and it should bring up your car at the above where it says Peugeot there will be the registration number. Um just check that everything ties up with um, what you'd expect it to be. Um and then you can say continue. Okay, choose how you want to pay. Um now this is we're gonna pay here by uh, not direct debit you can set up a direct debit which is quite good but I don't know it's nice to know when it's going out isn't it and do it yourself sometimes so we're going to say we're going to pay by card and it should be doesn't matter whether it's a credit card or a debit card um, continue okay now this is where you choose whether you want to pay six months if you don't haven't got the funds to pay the full amount or you I think you might only be having it for six months the car for six months you might only do it there for, but but it's cheaper overall if you do the 12 months and um, obviously t times two is more than this so we're just going to do the 12 months and then we continue okay check the details that's got the registration on so we'll be plotting that out um 150 pounds there is no fee yet that's fine so this is where we start putting in uh, personal details um so i'm going to be as uh, coming back to you once we've got to a certain bit but this is so what we'll do is we'd be putting in your details so you can put an email in so you get confirmation you don't necessarily need that um because it's all you don't get a paper certificate anymore as you know or a disc rather you, you just um it's all online and, and digital so um you please know about them, whether you've got tax or not already. Anyway, I'm going to leave you for now and come back when all this is all done. So see you soon. Okay, so we entered in the uh, card details for paying, and uh, we did the authorization thing through the mobile app, and then 
it came, comes up with this in the end, um, with a tick saying your application has been done, and they'll send you an email there above the bit where you see the tick, or actually below rather, there's a, a bit with you showing your registration and car, card number. So that should be that. Um, yeah, good luck with it. And if you need any, I don't think you'll need any comments or questions, but um, feel free to leave them in the box below. And yeah, like and subscribe as usual. Thanks for listening. Bye.